Welcome to part 10 of how to use Evernote to raise your grades. This video will deal with some of the miscellaneous features in Evernote that didn't fit in some of the other videos. When you open the Evernote program, across the top of the bar there are a couple of menu options that are pretty important but that I haven't dealt with yet. The first of those is the sync option. Whenever you are finished with the Evernote program, it's a good idea to go ahead and click on synchronize. That will make sure that the server database is updated and that all of your notes are stored both on your computer and in the cloud and on any of your Evernote equipped mobile devices. Down in the bottom right hand corner here you will see a little pop-up that says synchronization complete. That's the sign that your sync feature is working, that it's synchronized with the cloud and that your Evernote notes are safely stored at no risk of being lost. Again, the trunk feature, I mentioned this in an early video, but basically it holds a bunch of extra stuff. It holds other products sold by Evernote, products that Evernote uh, promotes. It's basically like a little app store inside of Evernote. Go ahead and check it out, see if there's anything you can use. Another important feature is the share feature. You can send by email. You can post a note to Facebook, post it to Twitter, or copy this note URL to a clipboard. All these options are really great if you want to send an, a note to someone else or if you are big into social media and you need to post some of your notes or maybe you take these notes as blog entries and you want to post them quickly, well you can do that here with the share feature. Again, most of the world is moving away from paper, but if you did need to print your notes, you don't have to copy and paste them into Microsoft Word or some other text editor. In fact, you can just print them straight from the Evernote window with the print feature. And if there was ever a note that you realized you really didn't need, you could delete that note. Don't worry, if you ever found that you deleted a note that you didn't mean to delete, then you could find it again in the trash. Again, trash is down here on the left sidebar. Finally, here at the end, there is the usage button. And I'll just pull this up. The usage window shows how much of your space, you get 60 megabytes a month, how much of that space you've used. And it gives you the option to upgrade to the premium account. But unless you're just taking an insane amount of notes, I really don't think you'll fill up that 60 megabytes very quickly. So should be no problem. And I really hope that you have learned a lot from this Evernote series. Thank you for watching. Best of luck to you.